In the previous video, we talked about how to wire and configure an RTD sensor to our Micro 850 PLC. And there's some very important diagnostics data that I don't see used often enough in your programs. If we look in our global variables and go down to an RTD module, it has analog input 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. But this is only a two channel module. If we look in the user manual, there's our 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And 0 is channel 0 temperature data, which we've used in the previous two videos. And 1 is channel 1 temperature data. But then 2 is channel 0 information. 1 is channel 1 information. And 4 is system information. I want to play with the open circuit, the over range, and under range which are bits five, six, and seven. So I'm gonna go back to probe one and we're gonna bring down a new rung and we're gonna put a go look for a one in and we're gonna go find that plugin module and then we need analog two. Now it doesn't give you the drop down, but all we gotta do is hit dot six at the end of it and that will put in that bit. And I'm going to put an output energize here. And we're just going to call this open circuit. And then bit 7 was over range. So we'll just right click this rung and we're going to copy it. And we'll right click it and we'll paste it. In fact, we need another one. So we're just going to right click again and paste it. And we're going to make this one 7. And we're going to make this one 8. And we're going to call this one over range and we'll call this one under range and let's go ahead and download that program and if you need any help downloading your program or you're not even sure how we configure the module just hit the subscribe button we have lessons on all of that and as soon as i downloaded that i realized i totally botched it because it was supposed to be output five six and seven and I put it down as output six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to disconnect. And yeah, we're going to grab outputs five, six, and seven. Try downloading that again and see if it looks a little better. And now if I disconnect our RTD simulator, all right, we get an open circuit. And if I put it back on, it closes. Now I believe I can short out the two wires from the plug-in module and I should get an over range and there you go so now we have an over range can't think of how to really do an under range besides having the wrong one but when you're developing your programs go ahead and put these in even if you don't think you'll ever need them they won't hurt and they'll help us a whole lot when we go to troubleshoot the machines speaking of troubleshooting tips here's a playlist with how we configured this RTD and some great troubleshooting tips.